Good evening. The long manhunt for those two convicted killers who escaped from a New York prison is over tonight. David Sweat was shot and apprehended near the Canadian border two days after Richard Matt was killed in a confrontation with police. Sweat's condition is unknown, but we're learning more tonight about what led authorities to some of the most wanted men in the United States. We begin with NBC's Stephanie Gosk. After 23 days on the run, after a prison break that captivated the country, 35-year-old David Sweat is in custody tonight, shot and wounded by law enforcement just two miles from the Canadian border. Can we get an ambulance to stage at the Constable Station for any possible further responses? Copy. Uh, give me an ambulance to stage at my station from Malone, please. Authorities say Sweat was taken to a nearby hospital for treatment. Roads surrounding the area remain blocked off by state troopers. I heard a lot of sirens, and I yeah. live right over here. And he's, he was only a mile away from the border. He was a mile away from Canada. Authorities had been searching for Sweat in a 22-square-mile area near the woods where his partner, Richard Matt, was shot and killed on Friday, south of Malone. It appears that Sweat had moved well beyond that area toward the Canadian border. The two convicts triggered a huge manhunt after they escaped from Clinton Correctional, a maximum security prison, cutting through walls and sawing through steam pipes, breaking through a two-foot thick brick wall and making their way out of a manhole to the street. Prison worker Joyce Mitchell was supposed to be their getaway driver, but sources familiar with the investigation say she got cold feet and instead went to the police. She allegedly smuggled tools to the inmates inside frozen hamburger meat. A correction officer, Gene Palmer, has also been charged with promoting prison contraband, along with other offenses. This man has more reason than most to be relieved that the manhunt is over. Look at a picture of Richard Matt. That was the devil. Lee Bates was Richard Matt's accomplice in the 1997 that. murder of a businessman and testified against him. He was worried Matt might come looking for revenge. I thought, is it real? Is this finally over? And part of me wanted to say, I got to see this because I don't believe it. And then certainly I, I saw enough through reports and, and uh, on TV and the nightmare had ended. According to multiple sources familiar with the investigation, just about a mile down this road, New York State Police Sergeant Jay Cook saw a man dressed in military clothing leaving the forest. He thought he looked suspicious and he told him to freeze. Instead, David Sweat ran. So Sergeant Cook fired his weapon and hit Sweat in the shoulder. He was cuffed and later taken away. Carl. Stephanie Gosk in upstate New York. Steph hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.